Hello students, in this video lecture we will see the example wherein we are solving the sums or the example for finding the equilibrium conditions. Now in two dimensional uh, examples we have seen that the net force along x and y direction was coming out as zero. Now in this case we have the third axis as well. So that will be fx, fy and fz will come out as zero. Similarly the moment along each axis will be zero. That is the net moment. We'll take a few examples and see how to solve these type of sums. <music> In this example, we have a vertical load of 1000 Newton supported by three bars as shown in the figure. Now this is a 1000 Newton force acting at this point and this force is being supported by the member AB, AC and AD. Points C, O and D are in the X, Z plane. So this point, this point and this point are lying in the XZ plane whereas point B is 1.5 meter above the XZ plane. So the first thing that we need to do is find out the coordinates. The origin will be 0, 0, 0. Then point C, since it is lying on the Z axis, X coordinate and Y coordinate will be 0. So x is 0, y is 0, z will be 3. Point A is lying on the y-axis. So the coordinates will be 0, 6, 0. This height is given to me as 6 meters. Point D lies in the xz plane. Along x, the distance is 3 meters. And along z, it is on the negative side, 3 meters. So along x3, y will be 0 and z is minus 3. Now, the point B, the coordinate for point B will be, since this point B is lying 1.5 meters above the xz plane, so the coordinate in this case, it is lying 1.5 meters above and I'm having the distance over here as 3 meters along the x-axis. So this will be minus 3, 1.5 and z will be 0. Now, what I need to do in this case is I need to find out the force vectors along AD, AC and AB. So that will be, now since this force is acting at point A, the force in BA will act towards point A. Similarly, AC, the force will be acting towards A and in AD as well. So now when I'll be taking the force vector, I'll write it as T A D as the force vector. Force vector is T A D, the magnitude dot product along unit vector A D. So T AD, I need to find out the unit vector along AD, so that will be DA, force is going from D to A, so I need to write it as DA over here, I'll write it as DA, so it is A minus D, so in this case it will be 0, minus 3i plus 6 minus 0 j plus 0 
minus of minus 3 k under root 3 square plus 6 square plus 3 square. So I'll get this as So now if I simplify this further, I'll get the values as TAD will be the common term I'm having The next force vector, I can take it as A, C. So T, A, C will be the dot product with unit vector C, A. So T, A, C, unit vector C, A will be 0, 6 and then minus 3. So I'll write it as 0, I plus 6j plus 3k upon under root of 6 square plus 3 square. So this will be TAC The next force vector will be AB. So, force vector along AB is the magnitude AB dot product BA. So, TAB, BA will be 0 minus of minus 3. So, that is 3I. 6 minus 1.5 is 4.5 j and 0 k. So I'll get this as 3 square plus 4.5 square. So this is what I have got for AB. This is tension AB. I have got along AC and AD as well. Now I know that the summation will be coming out as zero in this case. I know the force is acting downwards, so I can write it as minus 1000 J kilo newtons. Now, applying condition of equilibrium, We know that summation of forces will be zero. Now, the forces that I'm having are the force vectors basically. I'll just highlight the force vectors over here. This is my force vector AD. This is the force vector AC. I'm having the force vector AB and the force which is acting as downward force of 1000 
kN. Now, if I take the summation of all these forces, I should be getting the answer as 0. So, to, for that to happen, this is 1000 kN. So, my the total of these three forces should come out as positive 1000. In that case, I'll get the answer as 0. So, I need to find out the components along these three members. So, for that, I'll take the equation further wherein I can write it as F1 is minus 1000 J plus AB I have found over here as 0.556 I that is PAB so I'll write it as it is so 0.556 i plus 0.833 j t a b plus t a c is 0.8955 j plus 0.4477 k t a c plus a d will be minus 0.4087 i plus 0.8174 j plus 0.4087 k t a d equal to 0. So I need the summation to come out as 0 in this case. Now what I will be doing is I will club all the i terms, j terms and k terms together. So i term I am having over here. So it will be point five five six i t a b i won't write i inside i'll write i outside so that will be easier for me so point four zero eight seven t a d this is my i term then j term i'll write it as plus this is minus 1000 plus 0.833 TAB then this is plus 0.8955 TAC then I'm having over here as well plus 0.8174 TAD that is my J then k term appears over here and here so plus 0.4477 tac plus 0.4087 tad k equal to zero so i have got the i j and k terms together. Now, I know that the resultant acting will be along the y-axis. That is, I mean, I should not be saying the resultant acting. I know that the summation is coming out as zero. So, i, j and k will be equated accordingly. So, I'm having 0.556 TAB minus 0.4087 TAD equal to 0. Similarly, I'll be having these terms over here. It will be 0.833 TAB. I'll take 1000 on that side. So, plus 0.8955 TAC plus 0.8174 TAD taking 
10,000 on the other side. I'll get this term and then I'm having these terms over here. So it is TAC and TAD. I'll write it just below this. So 0 0.4477 TAC plus 0.4087 TAD equal to 0. So this happens to be my this is my equation number one this is my equation number two and this is my equation number three now if i solve these three equations simultaneously solve one two and three we get the values for t AB, then TAC and TAD. The equation number three that we have written for over here that is for the K term is having TAC value as that is unit vector along CA. So it should be A minus C. So here I'll be getting 0 minus 3. So it should be minus 3 over here. So I'll just make the change. I'll write it as minus 3. Over here it will be minus 3. And over here it will be minus 3. So that change will be carried down over here as well as minus and here as well as a minus sign so i'll get it as this now once i solve these three equations simultaneously i'll get the answers as 327.1 kilonewton TAC is coming out as 406.2 kilonewton and this is coming out as 444.99 kilonewton. So the summation of these forces should give me the answer as 1000 newton and in this way we can prove that the system is in equilibrium. I hope this example was helpful to you all. Thank you.